1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 6. But there is to us only one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we in Him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and we by Him. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14, Since then we have a great high priest, which who has passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Jesus as Lord, Jesus as high priest are seen in these passages. Let's pause a moment and think about the blessings that could give us of these two identities of our Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and as High Priest. He who is our Lord is also He who rules over the kings of the earth. In Revelation chapter 1 verses 5, Even from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to whom who loved us, and wash us from our sins in his own blood. Ruler of the earth, King Jesus Christ, King of all kings, wash us from his own blood. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, and he said, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority is given to me in heaven and in First Peter chapter 3 verse 22 Who is at the right hand of God Having gone into heaven Where the angels and authorities And powers are being subjected to him That means to say Everything are connected to him Yet he calls us his brother And this is a blessing to us is our brother and he is not ashamed telling to anyone that we are his brother and he is also a high priest romans chapter 8 verse 34 who is he condemning it is christ who has died but rather also who is raised who is also at the right hand of god who also intercedes for us when we pray, what do we do at the, de at the end of our prayers? We say the signature. And under whose signature? Are you allowed to use that signature? And we do say like this, in Jesus' name. And you say, Amen. This is an assurance for us that our Lord and High Priest Jesus Christ is ever be a brother and a high priest to us.